everybody has a built-in survival system that always puts safety before reproduction. It doesn't matter how desperately you want a baby. If your body senses danger, it will switch off ovulation. You have chronic stress that can flood your system with cortisol. This is a hormone that keeps you alert and ready to run and that can steal progesterone. Because the same building blocks your body uses to make progesterone and estrogen are also used to make cortisol. So when stress is high, especially when it's chronic, your body shuns resources away from your fertility towards survival. That's why some women notice their cycles shorten, their luteal phase disappears, or ovulation becomes absolutely inconsistent during times of ongoing stress or grief or burnout. This isn't about relaxing or taking bubble baths. Don't misunderstand me. This is about teaching you and your nervous system how to feel safe again. Now you can do practices like deep belly breathing, gentle yoga, regular sleep obviously helps a lot, but also even just simple daily walks can help you lower cortisol and send your body the message it's safe to reproduce. I've seen women who tried for years finally conceive after addressing stress, not because they weren't eating right before, but because their body finally trusted it was safe to bring a baby into the world. Now, this is why I think it's so important to calm the storm inside so ovulation can return and your menstrual cycle can lengthen and conception becomes possible again. So that's why I have designed a few meditations to keep you calm throughout the waiting because it is so important. And from that place of safety and trust, the possibility of one day holding your miracle baby in your arms becomes not just hope, but a very real outcome.